for tuning in to Life Changer Ministry. Uh, financially Free Thursday. Financially Free Thursday. Where our topic today is give. Give. If you have your Bibles, go with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Book of Deuteronomy, we're going to look at chapter 15 and verses 7 through 10. Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verses 7 through 10. Uh, Third John states, Above all that I wish that thou would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. And as I say, stated before, the Lord wants us to prosper. It is okay to be prosperous. Uh, he wants us to be the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower. In order for us to be in position to be the lender and not the borrower, we got to apply the word of God. We got to apply the principles that he has given uh, given us in his word so that we can be financially debt free. So go with me to the book of Deuteronomy. We're going to look at chapter 15 and verses 7 through 10. And the word of the Lord reads, If there is among you a poor man of your brethren, within any of your gates in your land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall not harden your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall open your hand wide to him willingly, lending him sufficient for his needs, not his wants, but his needs. Whatever he needs, ladies and gentlemen, beware lest there be a wicked thought in your heart saying the seventh year, the year of release is at hand and your eye be evil against your poor, poor brother and you give him nothing and he cry out to the Lord against you and it becomes sin among you. You shall surely give to him. And your heart should not be grieved when you give to him. Because for this thing the Lord your God will bless you in all your works and all to which you put your hand to do. Oh, hallelujah. You ought to be rejoicing, my brothers and sisters. The Lord said to give to your poor brothers. Now listen, everybody think that this kind of giving always equates to money because someone is poor that we all always got to give money. That is not always the case. Sometimes you may give uh, to someone that is in need. They may need clothing. The Lord said to meet their needs. Give them what they need. So if they are hungry, give them something to eat. If they are, if they need clothes, give them something to wear. If they need a place to stay, give them a place to lodge. If they need a job, give them work. That is the kind of giving that the Lord is talking about. Uh, uh, give them opportunities. That's what the Lord is telling us to do. We are to give our poor brothers and sisters opportunities, opportunities that we have because it is God that opened up the floodgates of heaven. It is God that has blessed us. It is God that elevated us. And so therefore he has allowed the poor to be amongst us so that we can be a blessing and give to them. And like I said, giving does not always equate to money, ladies and gentlemen. Give to their needs. Whatever the poor stands in need of, God is saying, listen, I, I'm going to use you to bless them. I'm going to use you to help them. And he said, listen, when you give, don't give grudgingly. He said, give freely. And he said that as you give freely, watch what he do. I love verse 10. Let's go back to verse 10. He said, you shall surely give to him and your heart should not grieve when you give. Don't have any grievance in your heart. Give cheerfully for the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. And he said that when you give to him because of this thing, it says the Lord, hallelujah, you ought to rejoice. It says the Lord will bless you and all your works, basically everything that you put your hand to do, God is going to bless you. Why? Because you've been obedient to his word. You've been obedient and you have given to the poor. Not only would he bless you, but he said in all of that you put your hands to do. 
Everything that you put your hands to do, God said he is going to bless it. I did not say it, ladies and gentlemen, this is the word of God, my brothers and sisters. And the key to being debt free, the key to being prosperous is giving. That is another principle that God has given us in his word. He said when we give to the poor, whatever they need, whatever they stand in need of, when we meet their needs and we give ungrudgingly, when we give it willingly, God said everything that you do, he is going to bless you. Everything that you put your hand to do, oh hallelujah, I'm just excited about this scripture, my brothers and sisters. So I pray today that this word has encouraged you. I pray today that this word has empowered you to go out there and to give. Give to the poor, and as you give to the poor, watch our Heavenly Father Open up the windows of heaven. Watch he bless everything that you put your hands to do. Until next week, I pray that you all have a blessed and wonderful week in the Lord. God bless you all. Have a good evening.